Hi, and welcome to another little video about finding equations of straight lines. In this uh, situation, ABCD is a square, the point B is the point 12, 10, and the line CD, this one at the bottom here, has the equation y equals a third x minus 4. And we're asked to find two things. First of all, the equation of the line AB, and then later, the equation of the line BC, this one here. Now, we're going to use y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, c is the y-intercept. The difference this time from previous videos is we don't know the value of c. Well, let's just think what we do know. First of all, we know that the gradient of this line, cd, is a third, because there's its equation. And so the gradient of ab is a third as well. So we know that the equation is y equals a third x plus c. We don't yet know what c is. But we use the fact that the line goes through the point B 12, 10. In other words, it goes through the point where the x value is 12 and the y value of 10. And that's all an equation is. It's just a rule for tying together the y and the x value for any point on the line. Well, it works for 12, 10, so let's put those values in. y is 10 when x is 12, so we get this equation. A third of 12 is 4, so 10 is 4 plus c, which tells us that c is 6. And now we can write down our equation y equals a third x plus 6. We've worked out what the y-intercept would have been if we had continued this line to the y-axis. A uh, situation like this, you might be able to do this by careful drawing on, on squared paper. Uh, but uh, this algebraic way of doing it is going to work just as well. Now, the next one, I can hope, I hope you can see that we're doing the line BC, and its intercept is going to be right above us there somewhere. So drawing to find a solution to that is going to be rather difficult. However, we use the fact that this is a square and that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. And the rule for perpendicular lines, again, is that the new gradient is minus 1 divided by the old gradient. That gives a line which is perpendicular. m1 and m2 represent gradients which are perpendicular to each other. And in this case, it's minus 1 divided by a third, which is minus 3. So once again, we can work out that uh, the equation is y equals minus 3x plus c. We don't yet know where c is, but once again, we know it goes through this point b, 12, 10. So let's just feed in those values. y is 10 when x is 12, so 10 is minus 3 times 12 plus c. 10 is minus 36 plus c. This tells us that c is 46, and that gives us what we need for the equation. y equals minus 3x plus 46. Minus 3 is the gradient. 46 is the intercept, and as you can see, it's a long way up on this diagram. But there's the solution. Uh, to both those questions.